Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to your third Android development tutorial, the business series. Um, what we're going to do is finish up this application and then I'll try and explain everything that we've done because it's kind of confusing so far, I understand that, and we'll just put all the pieces together and you'll be like, holy crap, that was easy. Uh, what was I struggling for? First thing that we're going to do is jump back to our numbers class. This is where we left off. Um, if the message of the bundle um, numbers is equal to width, uh, we're going to send back width information for this activity. If it's height, we're going to send back the height information. So how we do that is we refer to the intent um, that, that we set up here, the get intent. We're going to refer to that same intent and we're going to say put extras. And again, this is the same as what we've done previously. We're going to refer to a string value and then we're also going to pass back a string value as well. So we're going to say get extras. For the first value, uh, we're going to call this one uh, width height, or not width height, I'm sorry, width info. And the value of the width info is going to refer to whatever is in our edit text up here, so our string s. And again, I know I said it's kind of confusing right now. We'll explain everything at the end, uh, but just make sure you got that down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the result because again we open this activity looking for some sort of a result so we're going to set the result as uh, result okay that's just going to say everything worked out fine and we're also going to give it the intent that we set up here where we put in the extra information such as the string that we're passing back to the previous class or the previous activity and then all we're going to do is we're going to finish this activity that's running um, and there we go so we're going to copy this here and we're going to paste it down here and instead of width info we're going to say height info save that and we're done with this activity now so we just need to go back to the 40 series and the last thing that we have to do is we have to say uh, on activity result because again we're starting an activity for a result we open that activity and then we send the result back so we need a method to say capture that information that's being sent back so we're going to um, use a method called onActivityResult. Um, again, just control space and you get that shortcut there. And it gives you three parameters that gets passed in, such as the intent that we added that extra bundle, a result code, and a re, uh, request code. And now what we're going to do is check if, again, it was the width or the height that was being sent back. So we're going to create an if statement here, and we're going to refer to, again, this third parameter, which is our intent. We're going to say data dot get extras, and what that's going to do is going to return our extras, whether that be the width info or the height info. Um, it'll tell us that information because again, in the previous activity, we put extras, whether that be width or height info, and then now we're getting that, and then we're going to compare that value. So we're going to say contains key, which is the key reference. So we're going to say if it's the width info. So we're just going to put width info and then we'll know that it's uh, looking for width information. And all we're going to do is you know, add some brackets here and we're going to refer to our button called the width. And we're going to set the text to the information that we're getting back. So again, we're just going to refer to the intent that we're getting back as a result. We're going to say get uh, string extra and we're going to refer to the key width info and that will return our value. So that will return whatever we put in the edit text from the previous tutorial. And again guys, I know you're probably confused. Probably make another tutorial just uh, talking about what's going on so you guys aren't confused at all. It's kind of hard to explain this and you know try and make it only seven minutes and uh, type everything out. But uh, just make sure you watch the next tutorial if you're confused. If you aren't, then that's fine as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to paste this down here as well and change our width info to say if it's the height info. And then, uh, whoops, make sure you spell it right there. And also the value of the height info. And let's save this and run it, see what happens. Okay, um, so we have our two buttons, our width and our height. We're going to click button one and input like 52 and hit our button submit and we get the value of 52 returned back to this activity and it, change, it changes our width button um, so we can do that with the height as well 
and uh, whoops, we must have messed. Oh yeah, okay. So down in our code, we messed this up. Uh, we put width twice, so we want to change our height button uh, to the height information. Save that and run it, and now we can put in information for a height button as well, and return it back to this class. Um, so we have two different values that we can get information from. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if you're confused. Make sure you check out the next tutorial. Catch you later. Peace.